hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're building an automatic sugarcane farm. I'm going to build mine 5 wide, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can build it 10, 15, 20 wide, however long you want. I'm going to find the middle, I'm going to grab a little bit and just place my chest here. I'm going to feed a hopper into that and a hopper into that hopper. And the same thing basically. You need to make sure you're crouching. And make sure you're clicking on the hopper, otherwise it's not going to do anything really. Then crouch, place your water in the hopper. This is just so that you can get the most simple and effective design. If you want to make a bigger one, you basically just put the hopper... Make blue, blue, blue. To go two blocks down, place a hopper on the bottom and place water on top of that. So right now I'm placing glass in front. You don't have to place glass, you can place just blocks. But glass so that way you can actually see the progress you need the glass to catch the sugarcane and that might not make sense now but it will in the future so now this can work on sand or grass i'm just using grass because it's already here i need to place that that so, so annoying that so you need to place some glass on the sides here and here then place an observer actually this way so when you're doing this you've got someone watching you and you do actually have to have a lot of home so just that now you can place red of that and you're done simple as that you can also cover this up in any block you want Basically how it works is when the observer detects that the that something so an observer detects when something's in front of it. So in this case when a sugar cane grows to free tool, the observer detects it, sends that message to the pistons which hit the sugar cane, break it at two blocks tall, so that it leaves that one block so it can still grow. It's a very easy redstone contraption, it's very simple. It's not hard to do at all. So that's basically it. I mean, I'll grab some bone mill so that you can so I can show you it in action. So if I just come up a little bit, if I bone mill it, you can see some of it's you can see some of it doesn't go actually into the hopper. That's just the way it is. Sometimes it just won't always go into the hopper, but you've got the glass here to stop it from going even further forward, basically. Just make sure you don't spam click because you see it now, it just breaks it and it goes extremely tall. So unless you want extremely tall sugarcane, then don't spam click it. It's 24. So if you AFK here, it will just it will grow. Observers detect, pistons push, it goes in the hopper, which also has water in it to keep the sugarcane growing. So for instance, if I grab some sugarcane, here it is. And try and place it without water it's not gonna grow if i place it with water it will if i do that so it's go if i get rid of the water the sugar cane breaks it's like with cactus on sand how it can't have anything next to us similar in the way that do this yeah that's it i mean you don't have to have glass you can just have a block there it doesn't make a difference it's just like you can actually see it growing and you know when you're about to get so you can also make it so that it's one block wide you can still do that so same thing basically water i messed up wait <laughs> god and that is no oh. i'm really not doing this well there we go so now we need that there that there Oh, I got rid of the piston, didn't I? <laughs> so you can use a sticky piston if you want. It doesn't make a difference. It just, it doesn't make a difference. I mean, if you've got like loads of sticky pistons, you could just use a sticky piston. But it doesn't matter. All right, that's it. You don't have to have that there, but it's just so that you can do that. It's just you've got the risk if not having two, like you might lose some sugar cane. That's it, really. Actually, gonna leave that. Cause I'm gonna show you something else you can do. 
this works with one, it works with two, but something on like five along, it may not work. But I'm not going to get into how these are made, but you can make, um, you can make bone mill farms. I'm not going to go into the details, uh, that's for another day. But, using the same logic, if I put a dispenser, There we go. If I do a redstone clock, which I need to remember how to do, it shouldn't be too hard. So I need to do that, then that, then that, then that, then that, then that. It's a redstone torch, break it. Oh, I did it too late. So you got to make sure you do this quickly. Oh, I, did, I, did, I clicked the button, but it didn't work right. Painful. And I did this, I practiced this earlier and I was getting it first go. Right. There we go. So you can hear it clicking, but it's not shooting anything out. But say you put a hopper on top of here, and another hopper on top of that, and on top of that, and you keep on building up. Say this is where a, a bone mill farm is. Then the bone mill just gets dropped straight in, and that grows, breaks, grows, breaks, goes, breaks, and you slowly start to go. See, there's somewhere all you need to do is come in and pick it up. So, say you, when your bone mill runs out, all you need to do is just go pick up the excess, and that's it. That's how simple that this sugar cane farm is. So save it, obviously that leads to nowhere, but say you had a bone mill farm connected to that and then you lead it into here, you just have infinite sugarcane. As long as the bone mill farm can keep up with this. Yeah, that's basically it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. That one was it, that's a quick one, this one will just happen after time. You just go to AFK and it will slowly grow. Yeah. Thanks for watching and that will be everything, basically.